Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. It is so great to be with you all. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Uh, gonna get a little rain, maybe. Well, we'll see. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too much, but I've been wrong before. This wouldn't be the first time. I'm gonna finish up the morning briefing and then I'm out of here on my way to Mexico. Lindo, we're gonna go through Tecate. We've got a whole bunch of clothing and uh, stuff that you have all donated that we're going to be taking to not only an orphanage but some impoverished areas so i thank you for that i'll get some photos and uh, make sure you get to see how your good works are taking place down there in mexico we're just instruments of your kindness and generosity no question about it and then i'll be in ensenada for some meetings but tomorrow night tuesday night we've got a great live show planned for you so make sure you tune in We'll have information. I'm going to try to get info on Guadalupe Island. I'll be down there with some of the guys from the Mexican government that are going to be uh, promoting a bluefin tuna tournament. I think there's several legs to it. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. So I'll figure that all out. Hey, those angling games on Saturday, CCA angling games. Can't thank all of you who came out to say hello. That was so nice to shake your hand. And thank you for all the great support you've given us. Almost one and a half million views here on YouTube. I deeply appreciate it, and that doesn't count. Everything else, like TikTok, we're up to 451,000 likes. Can't thank you enough for that. So really, really thank you so very much. All right, um, over the weekend, uh, well, let's jump further down. Sean Morgan down there, uh, he's been fishing on the wild and sack out of San Jose del Cabo, which is pretty close to Cabo San Lucas. Still some striped marlin biting down there in that neck of the woods. That sprinkling of Dorado is still around. We get you up to the San Quentin area, and the yellows are still biting down there in that neck of the woods. Good yellowtail fishing going on down there. Yo-yo iron works really well. You can fish the yo-yo. They're catching lings, reds, and all that. Same thing up there for the guys from blackfin sport fishing. Now, they are up there in the Ensenada area. That zone there has been producing good sheep's head whitefish, vermilions, rockfish. Same thing for Costa Baja. And we're talking Diego Nuno, of course, our good friend. You can find him on Facebook. And Arnie from Arnie Man. He's also out of Ensenada. And that zone has produced some big bonita around Puna Banda. You can fly line a bait, troll like a feather, like an albacore style feather. I hope that doesn't predate some of you guys. And uh, that's been a pretty good bite. Or throw iron. They're biting that really well. Also, I skipped over uh, Colinette for some reason. And uh, the boats out of San Diego had good rock fishing down there. Some decent yellowtail fishing for some of the guys down there in that neck of the woods. Yo, yo, iron works well. Don't fish it with anything less than 50 pounds. And I love to fish fluorocarbon. A lot of guys will say, well, what the heck do I have to fish fluoro when I'm fishing the iron for? And you're absolutely right in terms of getting a bite. I don't think there's any difference between mono and fluoro, but you're fishing some really rocky areas, and that fluoro is abrasion resistant. So make sure you give that a shot. I think it'll make all the difference in the world if you get into those bad neighborhoods. www.opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout, and uh, you'll get a love note from Greg Brown. And you'll also get a free gift. All right, so we look at the San Diego based boats. That's what they've been doing down there at Colinette. It's been good. And also now on Monday, we'll be back to the Premier and other boats doing like a half day extended or three quarter day extended, whatever you want to call it, across the border to catch rockfish. Rockfish closed in SoCal. So you're going to have to hang on and wait to go fishing for rockfish in Southern California until April 1st when it's open down there in Mexico. Uh, really nice fishing going on for those guys. Um, sand bass, calico bass, real scratchy. Not a whole heck of a lot. It's mostly fishing structure right now, and you're going to want to fish that floral for sure then. You've got a lot of bad neighborhoods there. 40 pound with a two ounce sliding egg. A big hook too, like a 5-0 hook. And uh, you can fish a dropper loop rig with a two ounce torpedo. That might differ, that weight depending on wind and current, but that's been about right for most of the guys. And once again, um, you can fish a leadhead, fresh dead squid being best, or live squid if you're fortunate enough to have it. And once again, boats are picking at the bass, but filling in nicely with the sculpin and whitefish. We saw that 
out of Long Beach sport fishing. We saw it on the city of Long Beach. We saw it up to out of Marina Del Rey where they have some really good twilight fishing at times. Uh, they run Friday and Saturday nights on the Spitfire for the most part, and it's been pretty darn good up there in that neck of the woods. Ventura sport fishing, by the way, if you want to jump on a boat with those guys, uh, they've got their schedule up for the Island Spirit right now. They're on wintertime schedule, so calling the office, they don't always have staff on hand. Going to their website is a much better idea. Island Spirit, a lot of fun with Cody Rogers, and of course the Endeavor, and Tucker, he does such a great job. Can't wait to fish with Tucker McCombs this year. Along the surf, barred perch biting pretty well. Occasional yellowfin croaker. There's a few big ones around here biting on that chrome crocodile. Not bad at all. And once again, we'll see what this weather is going to do. It's, uh, yeah, it's cold, but not that bad. My little tootsies, they're used to it now. We get up to the house and I am numb by the time I get up there. All right, my friends. Wishing you a really great Monday and the start of your work week. I hope you do really well. I'm out of here. I'm jumping in a buggy and headed to Mexico Lindo. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a lot of good video for you. I might on Wednesday, depends on how this all goes, might be able to go down there around San Quentin or Colinet and give those beaches a try. I would love to go down there and catch some of those barred perch. When they bite, they are full speed, and that's a lot of fun. Tuesday night, live from Ensenada. Can't wait to do that, and I can't wait to see you really, really soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share these videos if you get a chance. You like these videos, subscribe and tick that bell so that we can notify you when there's new content. Have a wonderful morning and a wonderful day. As always, it's so nice to be with you, and I can't thank you enough for all you do for Friedman Adventures. Take care, my friends. She's not a translator. I'm gonna let her introduce herself to you. I'm Desiree. Oh my God. Holy shit. You know, this camera, I'm so happy. Oh my God, Phil, how the hell did you do this? A really fun and productive method to take yellowfin croaker in the Southern California coast is by throwing a small lure. It really works well, and it's lots of fun. deception jig, man, and that thing hit the bottom, twitched it once, and it was on. Look at that, man. The big calico bass come out to play around Puna Banda, Baja California, Norte near Ensenada, Fishing with Diego Nuno and Costa Baja Sport Fishing. You want to catch more surf fish in Southern California, then you need to dig up sandworms because they are an outstanding bait. Find those little holes in the sand and then dig a hole. Cave in the sides and you'll find the sandworms. Nothing can resist them. Good job, Mike. Good job, Jonathan. Fish is in the anchor and these boys got it out. And good job. He flew over once, and when I was flying over, all I remember is me grabbing the throttles and pulled back as much as I can. I was sinking. I was drowning, basically. I'm swimming. I'm choking on water. He's. I look back at him. He's choking on water. I see the boat slowly turning These two around. Pongero guys, commercial fishermen, they had been drifting for five days. Jeez. They said a cruise ship almost ran over them at night. Like, oh. literally, they could touch the side of it. Oh. Another yacht pulled up to him and goes, oh, we'll call. They, they were kind of, like, leery. They go, we'll call. We'll call the authorities and no one ever showed up. So we give them water and these guys are just gut and it goes right through them, man. We gave them showers and clothes and we call um, the Mexican Navy. They pretty much thought they this bought it. This is like Point and Sunny days back in the 70s. Look at that. Nothing right. better than a wide open calico bass bite along the Baja coast. Hola. Good one? Swimming with Always memorable times with Costa Baja sport fishing near Ensenada. Wilkerson is attempting to splice Paul's rod into another reel. They've got to splice this before the fish makes a run. Hey, tie a knot. Come here, sir. Come here. Good job, boys. Thought he had a whitefish when it turned into something else really, really big. After an extended, excruciating battle, he passed off the rod to Axel. Axel put the screws to this fish, and surfacing from the depths was this enormous, gigantic, black sea bass.
Captain Mike said it would go easily over 200 pounds. The crew on the Pride used a gaff to get the hook out of the tail of the black sea bass and then gave it a push downward to get it breathing again and acclimated and down went that gigantic monster to live to fight another Mike day. Morrison, a chiseled athlete, is like a UFC fighter entering the ring. Morrison going on board the Freedom to jump overboard into the frigid Arctic waters in Southern California after losing a bet to Phil Friedman. Morrison predicted a 400-pound bluefin tuna at 22nd Street Landing. It did not happen. Captain Mark Paisano, you are here for a very special event. What do you have to say? <laughs> That's perfect. You are here for a special event. What do you think? I think he's going to be cold. Yeah. And he's going to be uh, he's going to be rejuvenated, and he might get an ear infection. All right, perfect. Perfect. How are you feeling? I'm not regretting my decision. It's You're just, not. It's just freaking cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Morrison is a man of his word. Can I go? Thank God I didn't have to do it. Good job. How about some applause, everybody? Woo! Good job, Mikey. Man. You are the man, Mike. <laughs> well done, Captain Mike Morrison. You know, every century, perhaps every millennium, a man like Mike Morrison comes along. A man of his word who does what he says he was going to do. It is indeed an honor to call him my friend. And I simply can't wait to make another bet with him soon.